The latest installment in the Resident Evil series, Resident Evil Village, has us behind the eyes of Ethan Winters once again. Since this game takes place in Eastern Europe, there are multiple instances where the local cuisine is seen, such as in the beginning with Mia and the various dishes that Duke offers to cook up for us. Today, I will be attempting to recreate the soup that Mia makes in the beginning cutscene, Churaba de Legum. Translated as vegetable soup, this is a hearty, simple, and warm soup that is easy to make yet filling and satisfying. There are various iterations of the soup from what I have found, but I will be doing my own version and also mentioning some alternatives or additions along the way. As always, I cook all the dishes you see here on Twitch, so please go check me out, and the written recipes will be on Whisk. Links to everything is down below in the description. But without further ado, let's get started. The first step is to prepare all the vegetables. Begin by dicing a yellow onion, three medium carrots, one red bell pepper, yeah it has to be red, and two potatoes. You will also need to grate one potato as well for a total of three potatoes used. Set all of these aside as these are the quote unquote necessary vegetables in the soup. The final necessary vegetable, well actually it's a fruit, are tomatoes. I used whole fresh tomatoes, but after making this dish, I have come to realize that using canned tomatoes might be better. I will explain later. For the tomatoes, bring a pot of water to a boil, then make an X-shaped incision at the bottom of the tomato before placing them in the water. This will allow the skin to be peeled off easier after the blanching process. Let the tomatoes boil for one minute, then remove and place in a bowl of cold water. Peel the tomatoes and then dice and set aside. Now that all of the essential ingredients are prepped, let me list off some optional vegetables. You're more than welcome to add any vegetables you like, but this list can give you a start. Cauliflower, green beans, green peas, celery, and squash. Bring out your favorite pot. Please don't judge the fact that my pot only has one handle. It has a um, sentimental value to me. Set to medium heat and add neutral oil. Drop in the onions, carrots, red bell pepper, and grated potatoes in and stir until the onions become translucent, about 2 minutes. Season with salt, then add the diced potatoes and any optional vegetables that take a while to cook such as cauliflower or squash. Cover with broth or water and bring to a boil then down to a simmer. Let this simmer for 5 minutes. And then add the tomatoes and any vegetables that don't take as long to cook such as green beans or green peas. Here is where I noticed that using fresh tomatoes might not be as good of an idea as using canned tomatoes. While fresh tomatoes provide a lot of flavor and acidity, it doesn't really provide enough juice to color the soup to a more reddish hue. By using canned tomatoes and adding the liquid as well, it will provide some strong tomato flavor as well as a bit of red color that we see in the cutscene. Whichever you decide will be perfectly fine and taste delicious however. Bring it back to a simmer and let the soup simmer for 10-15 to 15 minutes. Taste the soup and season with salt to your desired level. Finally, turn off the heat and add chopped parsley. Incredibly simple and can be paired with a variety of carbs such as egg noodles or rice. Or it can be paired as a side dish to a main course. This is what the Winters family end up doing. Or it can be enjoyed alone as is. This soup is incredibly hearty and due to only adding salt as our seasoning, the vegetables you choose really shine and you can really taste all of the different flavors and textures each vegetable provides. This is the first of several recreations I will be doing from Resident Evil Village. I hope that y'all enjoyed and stay tuned to future dishes I recreate. Everything in this game just looks absolutely delicious and to die for. Oh, wait, bad choice of words. Sorry, Mia. Anyways, please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.